was on my way down to my permission now, just making my way down track. Uh, hopefully, I'll have a walk around and that. See if we can get a couple of pigeons. Or, or maybe a rabbit or two. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just making my way down to down to my permission. So I'll give you a bell when I get down there. Off down with Catty. Not bothering with shotgun today, we've been well, just chucking it down like as you can see. I don't know if you can see on camera. But uh but yeah, I'll uh, give you a bell when we get down there and see how we get on. Take two minutes to show you what gear fetch for me. If you wonder why I'm wrapped up, it's because it's absolutely pissing it down outside. So, uh, don't fancy getting wet. Um, catty wise, I've fetched my Apex uh, by John Jeffries Custom Car Pulse, carbon fiber faces, white G10 core, uh, green G10 inlays. Uh, 90 mil wide this frame with 23 mil tips and that's wearing uh, 0.62 GZK black with a 25 to 20 taper locks in on this frame uh, I've been shooting it quite a lot past a uh, couple of weeks and that since I've got it and I can't knock it it's, it's a cracking frame uh, my other cat I've fetched is my Mustang by John Jeffrey's custom catapults. Uh, same thing, 90 mil fort width, 23 mil tips. Look at that. Same thing. Uh, that's wearing 0.62 GZK black as well. I do like to take a couple of catties with me just in case, and uh, do a bit of different shooting with the frames and stuff. Um, but frame wise, I can't knock John's builds at all. Uh, best builder in UK in my opinion uh, <laughs> I won't go to anyone else to be fair anymore I fan, I fan what works for me and I'm going to stick with it because that's what you do uh, but yeah knife wise I fetched my Openel number 8 that's a, obviously a locking knife uh, that's mainly used for when I'm uh, skinning my rabbits or resting pigeons and that. So it's a small blade, really sharp, holds an edge good, and uh, I won't I won't use any other knife for skinning. To be fair, uh, my other knife that I fetch with me is my Gorp by uh, Hell Knives. Full tang blade, uh, curly wood handle, stainless steel blade. Same thing, it odds an edge like like a dream uh, that's mainly used for if I'm collecting tinder or sh uh, for fires or sharpening sticks to set snares and stuff like that but a uh, really solid blade and uh, it takes a beating um, the ammo that I shoot with 0.62 GZK black is 9.5 mil steel uh, head and neck shots on it because like I said in the other videos, you don't want to be, I'll say it in every video because it's important, you don't want to be with for body shots. If you're not experienced with a catty, you don't want to be even hunting game at the minute. You want to make sure you can hit targets at quite a distance. Um, but yeah, 9.5 mil steel, head and neck shots. Even if you're using 10 mil lens, I still wouldn't recommend hitting animals in body because... Yeah, it might, it might end up dispatching them, but there's still that risk where they're going to suffer at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, 9.5 mil steel. Dispatched you mainly. Can't go wrong with it. It's all I've ever used, and it's probably all I ever will use. Um, it's served me well. Uh, but yeah, I'm about to go down onto the farm now. Have a walk around and that, see what's about. See if I can see out. Um, well, it says it is chucking it down which isn't ideal but work with what you've got so i'm gonna have a walk around farmer don't really like me filming on his land which i don't which i understand because end of day he lives there um around barns and stuff like that 
so if I do get a shot, I will try to get it on camera if I can. Obviously, within reason. But if not, I'll just have to show you afterwards what I get and stuff like that. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll get back to you in a bit. Bloody hell. It's going to be a wet lads. Back out on permission. Uh, didn't get out yesterday. So I'll set a few snares and that other night. We'll go check them in a bit. But I don't think weather were right in my favour yesterday. Like, cause it was, like I said, we were chucking it down all day. And then by the time I got out, all piss wet through. It just won't go in my way. Didn't see no. So uh, give it another go today. See how we get on. I've just been walking around. I saw a wood pigeon sat up on that branch up there. Uh, I'm using a different setup today with it being a different day. I'm using Gobble Evo by Wayne Martin at Catishack wearing 0.72 GZK green 24 to 19 taper that's shooting 9.5 mil steel like I says so a pigeon sat up on that branch there and managed to get him from about I think about 25 yard let's have a look let's pick him up oh yeah look really clean headshot There we go, look. Great side ahead. Nice one. That's one foot bag. Snares. You can see there's no in this one. But that's how you kind of want your snares to be set up. Like a natural funnel, funnel coming through bush. And I've seen quite a few rabbits kicking about here, like. So uh, I'll go check my others. So let's pull back up at home. Uh, been a really quiet morning again not much not much about and that i have shot that place quite heavily in the past few weeks so maybe that's got something to do with it um i'm gonna show you pigeon again in a minute um show you where shot placement is because just to explain a few bits for uh beginners or even just people that are wanting to know some stuff uh but yeah like i said the frame we're using Goblet Evo by Wayne Martin at Kai Shack. Proper solid frame that. Made, made a 10 mil 304 stainless steel. Proper beefy frame. Frame for life that if you take care of it. Um, didn't have no luck on my snares either. So I've left them again. I'll, I'll nip again in the morning just to check them. And... Uh, Probably won't take Catty R out because like I says it's it's been shot heavily in the past few weeks so I'm not expect out expect out to be there. Uh but yeah, like I said, left snares of a night again. We'll check them in the morning. So I'll show you the pigeon again in a minute. Right. Right, so I just wanted to take two minutes to talk about shot placement. We've got this pigeon here. And that's where it hit it right at the side it had. 9.5 mil steel. Right at the side. That's why I can't stress enough how important it is to go for headshots because they just drop like a lead balloon, man. There's, there's no messing about with them. They go straight down and it's a clean kill at the end of the day. Humane. That's what you always want to aim for. I'm just getting it breasted up now. Peeled all skin back, plucked all feathers, get that breast meat out. So we've got it fully breasted now. Get that in pan in a bit, get it cooked up with some garlic. Nice one. Just to let you know as well, rest of pigeon don't get wasted. Gets put on wrapped to table and buzzard will be around for it in about an hour. So I just want to show you, if you're new to catapults, before you even go out hunting, you want to practice your accuracy and your consistency on a target. So we've got a target down there at catch box. Have five shots on it. One for one. Two. Three. Four. 
Drop the ball. One more shot. Five. So there we go. Mark like says, your main thing that you need to practice is your consistency at hitting the target and your accuracy. This is target I normally practice on, but you want to see that from where I was shooting from. So I put a bigger target in just so you could see. Uh, but like I says, it's, uh, you don't have to be hunting with big lead balls, that's why I keep stressing it. If you put that shot in the right place, and this is why I keep saying headshots and neck shots, if you put that shot in the right place, it will kill. There's no need for big ammo. So uh, practice your accuracy and your consistency in a target, and then you can go out and uh, hunt your game. That's pretty much it for this video. I'll be putting a video up in the next couple of days of uh, me cooking that pigeon that I've got. Um, I'll put a link in the description for all the gear I've been using, such as uh, my catapult and my game bag that I take to carry, carry my game once it's been shot. Uh, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, see you at the next one.